What's going on everybody? Chart Slinger here with ZeroToHeroTrader.com and in this video series I'm going to be showing you how to set up your charts in Thinkorswim and we're going to be showing you how to set up something like this. So I've got a basically a four chart setup here uh, with multiple time frames. I've got a two minute, 15 minute, a one hour and a daily with my customized watch list here, all linked to each one of these time frames. So if I click on whatever I want to see, it pops up on each one in a different time frame, um, and I, I can see everything that's going on with the with each ticker. Okay, so I'll be showing you how to do this in um, several videos over over the course of several several episodes here, and uh, we're going to go through and show you how to do this. Okay, let's get into it. Do you want to learn to trade fast? You can start today. Zero to Hero Trader is the only way. If the market's going up, if it's going down, you can make money and we'll show you how. Our system can work for everyone. Join us for some trading fun. Zero to Hero Trader, learn to trade in no time. Watch our videos and be sure to subscribe. All right, guys. So when you open up Thinkorswim, uh, I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time since I downloaded Thinkorswim, but I think if you go in, probably the first thing you come to is probably like the monitor screen or the trade screen or one of those. So what we're going to want to do is go to the chart screen and it's probably going to look something like this um, for whatever ticker you have in there. Uh, we're going to use Apple to start off here. And it's probably going to look something like this. Okay, this is the default settings for charts. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we want to split these into uh, four different charts. All right, so how we do that, we're going to go to the flexible grid right up here. Go to flexible grid and you're going to see nothing really changed, right? Because it's uh, we haven't changed anything yet. We just flipped over to the different the different tab here. So we're in the flexible grid. In the flexible grid, you're going to see something that pops up right here. And this is going to allow you to customize the grid. So we're going to say customize grid. And we're just going to add four, okay? So that's one. I'm going to add one here, one here. And that gives us four different charts, all right? So we'll go ahead, put Apple. Oops. Apple, Apple. And when you do that, you see you have four different charts here. And what we're going to want to do is change the time frames. Okay, so I like to have the the daily down here, an hourly down here, 15 minute and a two minute or one minute, whatever you like uh, for day trading up here. Okay, so this one we're going to, since we have that, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the customized grid so we get that out of our way. Okay. And then we're gonna change the time frames on these other three. So we've got this one set to daily already. So we're going to change this one to an hourly and I've got mine set to 20 days here. Let's go ahead and change that to something a little shorter so it's not so hard to see. That's what three days looks like. There we go. It's better. Three days. And then up here, we're going to have a 15 minute five day. Change that to three days as well. And then this one we're going to change to a two minute one day. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's how we change everything 
to our different time frames. All right, so now let's just focus on one chart here, and we're gonna um, we're going to add some moving averages and stuff like that. Okay. So let's go to our two minute, and let's add some some different stuff here. So I like to. have some moving averages on my charts. So I'm going to add two exponential moving averages. First one I'm going to have an eight day. We'll leave it blue. Okay, the next one. I like to have a 20 and I'm going to make it yellow. going too fast you can pause and rewind okay now the next thing is I like to have TTM squeeze at the bottom All right, now I want to set this up. This looks kind of ugly to me. I don't really like the way this looks. So bear with me. I'm going to go in and show you how to change the background and things like that and uh, clean this up just a little bit. All right, so let's go into the settings, the little gear wheel here. Go to appearance. And I like to have them filled so I can see better. Fill up and down, show the wigs. Volume, I am going to make it gray. Background, I want super dark so I get a good contrast. It looks better. Now I want to get rid of the grid. Okay. Oh, uh, it looks much better. Alright, now I want to make the volume overlap so it's not in its own thing here there we go and actually I want to make the volume just a little bit darker so that looks like no, it's the same. make it just a little bit darker but not so dark that I can't see it but just a little darker There we go. That's better. Okay. Now that's much better. Now, I'll show you a cool trick here. I'm gonna take this and apply it to every chart here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this as a style. So we just right click, go to styles, and we're going to go save style, we'll call it style one. And really important, you're going to include patterns and study set. Okay, save it. And we're going to go to the next one, right click, style, load style, style one. There you go. Same thing here. Same thing here. And we are going to have to go back and change the time frames, but that's okay. Doesn't take too long. Alright, so we'll go back and change this one to a 15 minute. And we'll make it, what did we make it? Uh, two days. This one was a one hour. I'll make this one one day as well, so we don't have to zoom out or zoom in. I mean. 
All I'm looking for is the moving averages in the action here. Okay, and then uh, this one was a one day. And daily chart. Daily chart. And we'll do three months. All right, now one thing I do like to do as well is to give this just a little bit of room off to the right. So what you can do is go here to the expansion area in the settings on the time axis tab. And let's just give it like, 30, 30 bars. There we go. Okay, and then do the same thing over here. All right, now we can see everything. It's all out in the middle and everything. Okay, one other thing we want to do is, I should have done this in the first one, but <clears throat> we want to don't fit the studies or anything like that, because what's going to happen is it's going to be really annoying because it's, if you have any studies that, um, you know, show anything down here, whatever, it's going to scrunch up your chart. So. Uh, you want to have all these, or I like to have all these unchecked so my uh, scaling doesn't jack up. Okay. And same thing here. Same thing here. And then we're going to save that style again. All right, so now we got everything set up here. And if you want to add any other indicators, you know, you can. This is just what I like to have in here. Um, okay. So that'll do it for uh, part one of the video, and then we'll hop into the next part uh, in the next video. Okay.